Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us once again to another Guzman's Boars and Angus video. Today's video is going to be an exciting one, but before we get into it, I do want to say if you guys have been enjoying our videos, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below what type of videos you'd like to see going forward. And uh, uh, as always, don't forget to check out our website, Guzman's, GuzmanBoarsAndAngus.com. Alright, so if you guys remember, if you guys have been watching our videos... You guys know that approximately in September, give or take five months ago, uh, we introduced um, Mooney, which is our black dappled buck here, to these uh, red-headed uh, dolings. So this one here, her name is Hermione. She has a dappled um, head, and then the other one is a traditional uh, red. So both of these dolings do come from dappled genetics. Uh, they are registered, I want to say, I believe it's 97%. Um, so both of their the, the dolings um, have the same father. He is a solid black, 100% um, registered uh, um, boar buck, and both of their moms were dappled. So um, I went ahead, and as you guys can see here, they should be kidding this week. So I went ahead, I pulled them. Uh, you can tell they're going to kid this week, uh, not only because usually they take about five months, give or take 150 days uh, from time of breeding. But you can see that they have started to utter. Uh, their udders um, are starting to fill in. So their due date should be within the next 5 to 10 days. Um, by the, from This video was actually taken a couple of days ago. Um, I went ahead, I, I separated them, I pulled them with some of our uh, kids from last year that are, that are, are growing out. Um, I am I did today I went ahead and I moved them out and you'll see a little bit in the future in the in the in the couple seconds here But when I pull them out a uh, reason I pull them out is because they are first-time kidders um, In the past I've noticed that when you have kids um, or dolings that kid for the first time they do need a little extra help uh, So I want to I want to pull them out that way when they kid um, They have no distractions um, They know exactly who their kid is um, and then their kid uh, essentially has nowhere to go. Keep them safe here. Um, this is the rainy the rainy period for us here in California, so we always like to separate our um, does usually the week before the kid. Like I said, you can usually tell um, when their bag starts to fill up. Usually the day before they actually kid, their bag swells up really uh, really um, thick. And uh, their teats begin, you, you'll, you'll see them, you can tell they'll start getting really pointy. And uh, their vulva will also start to, to, to uh, um, uh, their vulva will actually start to secrete some mucus. And typically when you see that mucus secreting, you're hours away, uh, maybe 24 hours at, at most, um, from them actually starting to kid. Um, so like I said, when I plan for these guys, I do separate them. I don't want them to be distracted. I don't want them to lose their kids. I don't want them to be hit by some of these other does. If you guys are familiar, um, if when you guys are feeding your goats, goats can be really aggressive, um, especially when it comes to food. And as you can see here, this doling is actually having some sort of uh, twitch. Um, and you can tell uh, she's, I don't, I wouldn't say these, this is any type of contraction or anything like that. Um, I think she's just in some sort of discomfort. I did keep an eye on her um, and she's, she's perfectly fine. Um, like I said, this was taken a couple of days ago. And then here, as we as we jump into uh, a more recent clip, you can tell you can see I already switched the do the uh, other doe kids to the other side. So now these two dolings have this entire pen to themselves. Uh, when it comes to this, I do want to make sure that they get well fed. Um, usually, the week of kidding, I make sure they get plenty of grain. Um, I do want them to produce a lot of milk. Um, good nutrition will provide a lot of milk. I do want these these kids, um, once they actually have them, to have plenty of milk to drink from. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna uh, show you show you guys kind of uh, what to look. Um, as you can see here, the the milk sack is starting to to drop a little bit. Uh, typically, new kids or new dolings when they're good about a kid for the first time, their milk sack doesn't doesn't begin to show. Um, uh, too far in too far in advance. Usually they'll they'll start to bag up within the week or two of them kidding. And as you can see here, the the bag is starting to drop. You can see her teeth are starting to be a little more pointy, and her vulva is starting to swell. So this though, if I had my professional opinion or amateur opinion, or you want to say it, I want to say this doling is probably going to kid within the next three to four days. 
So hopefully within the next update, the next video I show you guys, uh, she has a she has a um, nice set of kids already. Um, this is her first time kidding. Uh, she is gonna be about two years old, so I do wait until about a, mo a year and a half before I expose them to the bucks. Um, and as you can see here, that as I look in the overhead shot, I do think that this though is gonna be um, kidding kidding twins. She is pretty wide. It's either gonna be twins, uh, twins, or she's gonna kid uh, one pretty big buck or or doe. Her sister over here, she's not as big, or her half sister, I should say, she's not as big. Um, I'd say she's probably another uh, seven to ten days out. She also started in a bag, but you can sell. She she's not as full, and her vulva isn't as full up as as the dappled headed over here. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe so you guys stay up to date with everything we have going on. Hopefully the next video we have is some good news and we actually have some kids on the ground. And uh, don't forget to check out our website, guzmanborsandangus.com. Appreciate you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.